Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Sisswitch here, bringing you guys a tour on how to make your sexy ass uh, inside modeling ness in a logo or a text. So, uh, yeah, I asked you guys on my recent speed art if you guys wanted a uh, tutorial, and I said if you get 20 likes, and you guys smashed it. So, thanks so much for those 20 likes, and now I expect you guys to like the crap out of every single one of my videos and not have me ask. Just saying. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna use the Era logo for this, and uh, there's gonna be a slight difference between doing what I'm going to show you in like the next two minutes between uh, logos and uh, using a text or whatever so let's get going let's get started so basically what I, so, uh, I told you I'm going to be using the arrow logo so I'm going to have my extrude nerves here and I'm just going to control shift uh, can click uh, shift click on all of them and uh, change these fill uh, change the caps to fill a cap on both of them and put my steps to one and radius to two you can copy that on whatever logo you're using and fix your extrude nerves and I uh, basically want to make sure they're all selected by, by shift clicking uh, right click, make editable, or press C on your keyboard, which will uh, start off the boom. So, uh, yeah, you want to make sure it has these little blue triangles on the left side of it, so that's, you know, you're in the same place as I am. And then you want to go to the left side of your uh, selection stuff, and you want to click on the one-fourth box with a little orange cut, orange little space right there. You want to click on the second to last one right here. And that's how you uh, are able to click on, you know, stuff inside the uh, logo or whatever. So now we're going to start with the E first, which is going to be the last one right here. And uh, you want to go ahead and click the plus button so you can't click it no more on the round ending one, or rounding one. So you want to go ahead and click on your extrude nerves. And uh, for sure, this is definite. This is why I said a little bit of difference between the uh, Mo text and then a uh, logo. If you're, using a, if you're making the inside modeling on a logo, you're definitely going to have extrude nerves uh, rounding one and rounding two. You want to click on rounding one, and this will bring you to cap one. This will allow you to click on the front of the logo, which is what you're going to need. But the little difference between the, uh, you know, text, I'm going to show you a little bit. Right, uh, I'll show you real quick. So if I press C on the keyboard, it's going to, you know, group all this crap. If it doesn't do that for you, I don't know why it does it for me. But uh, let's say if you're going to, you know, have your text or whatever, you're going to, uh, you know, press C on your keyboard, and it pops up. The only difference is going to be there's no rounding one. There's just cap one. So that's what you're going to be using. So, uh, no, not a big difference, but just a slight difference, so just so I don't lose anybody. Like, I don't say rounding one! Uh, it's basically your cap one. Whichever your, whichever is your cap one is what you're going to be selecting. That's going to be able to allow you to select the front. So, uh, yeah. Let's get going, let's get going. Doing good, good, doing good right now. So, right now, as you can see, you have these little green lines, and you're able to select the front of it or whatever, and you're able to play with it. Uh, to make the little cuts inside, that's what we're going to show you how to do. Um, basically what, you know, happens, you see these little, like, uh, indents in, like, the letter or whatever, and you see these little, like, you know, cog wheels or, uh, gears inside of it, and it makes it look all cool. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. I'm show you guys how to make a little cut inside the, uh, logo. You're gonna have to right-click and go to your knife. Oops, that's a mirror, bro. Your knife. And, uh, you can need to go to structure, nice, uh, knife also. So, uh, basically what your knife does, if you click outside or, like, you know, around your place, so if you were to, like, click around it like outside and then drag it and needs to make a little slice right here you see what i'm doing basically what i'm gonna do is like make uh two parallel lines right now for now see how like i make two parallel lines i'm gonna do a little bit farther apart no that's too far apart two parallel lines see that and i have this like place that i have selected uh where i like cut off the whole entire thing but made this little little piece so i can uh only edit this part um i'm also gonna like cut it off a little bit uh make a little like trapezoid shape Cause that's how I like it right there. See, I just made, a, I just did two other uh, cuts, just like so, and I made a little trapezoid looking like shape. And now this is where the part where uh, just uh, to make the indention, you want to right click or go to extrude. You want to click on your selected part that you just created, and you want to go to your offset. It's going to be at five. You want to change it to about uh, negative ten or fifteen. I'm gonna change it about negative ten. And uh, oops, excuse me. You want to like if you turn my camera, you can see that it's indented a little bit. So, uh, there you go. That's how you indent stuff. And you can do it, you know, for the rest, and then you can just place your, uh, your cogwheels or your gears or whatever inside. Uh, right here, this is basically the main thing you need to learn how to do is make cuts inside the thing. Inside the logo or the text or whatever. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, if you guys already know how to model from now on, you can stop watching. But if you guys don't know how to make a cogwheel or slash gear, I can show you guys how to do that right now. So, for the people who know how to model, uh, thanks for watching. See you later. So peace. Otherwise, keep on watching because I'm gonna show you a little bit, a uh, little bit of stuff, a little more stuff. Anyways, to make a cogwheel slash gear, you want to go ahead and go to your spine and then go to cogwheel. Whoa, bro, it says cogwheel. Yeah, 
uh, yeah, don't move it. Uh, keep it where it uh, places inside your Lightroom or your Cinema 4D. Because if you move it, it's just going to make a little bit, you know, a pain in the ass. So don't move it yet. And you want to click on your cogwheel and go to your teeth. It's going to have 20 teeth <clears throat> in the start. You can change it to about 6 or 8. I'm going to change it to about 6. And uh, you want to just go to your extrude nerves now. And uh, place your cogwheel inside your extrude nerves. And uh, if you guys like, you know, you know the non-circle inside your gear or whatever. If you like, you know, if you like this part or if you like it solid and that little circle inside, you can leave it here. But to make a circle inside your gear, all you got to do is go to uh, capsule, spot, uh, uh, your solid shapes and go to capsule. And then you want to rotate it so it's facing towards us, like so the, uh, the point towards us or the uh, top part towards us. And you want to take your scale tool and just make it a little bit bigger. And uh, this is why I told you not to move it, so it's simple to do this. And uh, you want to go to your array tab and go to boil. I hope I'm saying that word right. And you want to put your capsule below your extrude nerves, uh, below your extrude nerves. That's uh, the cogwheel that's inside. And then you want to click on both of them, uh, control click or shift click, and drag it inside the boil. And as you can see, it made uh, the capsule uh, like basically, you know, the circle. I don't know how to say it. It just gave it what it gave it. I don't know how to explain it. But it substituted the capsule as like the circle, so it's pretty cool, pretty sweet to make your uh, just to show you how to make a little circle inside your gear. If you guys didn't want to keep it all plain or whatever, so now all we gotta do, if you want to shrink it, make sure you just click on the main uh, part, which is or the main group, which is the boil or whatever. Uh, make sure you don't click on the capsule and try and move it or shrink it, cause it's gonna mess everything up. It's not gonna have a circle in the middle or whatever. Or try and move the capsule, cause that won't work either. Make sure you click on the top layer or the top group, and then you can move it. And then you can also shrink it to make it uh, fit inside your um, your little hole that you made or your little uh, indention that you made in your uh, text or whatever. So that's basically what I did when I did it for mine. If I can just pull it out, jeez. All right, there we go. So like I said, you can just shrink it to make it fit inside. And uh, you want to rotate it in different spaces or places, basically. And then just control C, V to make copies and just keep on doing that. And uh, rotate them in different ways so they just look, you know, unique, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But that's how I would do it, just like so. And uh, one other thing that you see a lot is the capsules uh, looking like probes or whatever. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. Just a quick example. You need to copy me exactly. You can just make your own little thing. But the only tools you're going to be using when you try and uh, model it is the... Um, hold on. Let me get on this. Is the... Um, okay. We're going to make the capsule editable as soon as we fix the height. So I'm going to fix the height a little bit and uh, the radius, shrink it to about like 25 so it makes it a little bit skinny and the uh, height is just basically the height of your indention of your hole or whatever inside your text but uh, you don't need to actually put a hole when you're trying to put a capsule in because it just would, it wouldn't, really, it wouldn't really make sense so uh, yeah, I now have my uh, radius and height fixed for my capsule, I can make it editable by pressing C on my keyboard or right click and make it editable and uh, the only thing you're going to be using when you uh, try and model your uh, capsule into like a probe looking thing is uh, bevel, extrude, enter, and smooth shift. And a little quick tip if you guys, you know, you can see like these uh, selected place, uh, selected, uh, how do I say it, cutoffs or whatever. You, know, you can click and they can hold shift to click on more than one place. But uh, as you can see, if, like I say, if you want to like, uh, you know, click the whole entire thing around it. Like if you want to click, you know, each and every single one of these things going around. Uh, here's a faster way to do it. If you guys didn't know, you can just press UL on your keyboard when you're trying uh, modeling stuff. It'll click anything inside that uh, those blue lines or whatever, or anything inside that one you know place. So then you can just like uh, shift click on multiple things and whatever, and then there you go. You can click on uh, a whole entire section except for click on every single individual little thing, which would be in the pain of the ass. I wish I knew that when I was first doing modeling. I'm kidding. I knew how to do it. Relax. So when I'm uh, I'm gonna use a smooth shift. And I'm just going to like push it in by moving, uh, by just, all I did was right click, smooth shift, uh, I make sure I had my stuff selected, I clicked outside, and I just dragged my mouse to the left to uh, pull it inside, and now I'm just going to take my extrude inner, and uh, basically put a little bit more detail, like shrinking, the extrude inner is basically uh, shrinking the amount of space or selection you're going to be using, so as you can see, if you look at the yellow, it went from the whole entire thing to a little part right there, and I'm going to use bevel, which makes it look like more like a probe, as you can see. So uh, right now you want to put, uh, you want to have this, you know, like you kind of have like the yellow still selected. And you want to put a nice little uh, glow material or a nice little material on it to make it look all cool and whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and put glow on it. It's, it's simple to put a, uh, 
color on again all you gotta do is have it highlighted and then just drag your material onto the, like the highlighted spot and it'll color that part only so yeah um now i'm just gonna fix it up a little bit more it's gonna you know do a little bit more uh stuff i don't need to like try super hard it's just like so just it just depends how much time you want to spend on it and like i said i'm just gonna drag another material on it and now there's my little probe thingy looking like so uh i can just drag that and put it on you know like I said, you don't have to make a hole inside like the letter you want to put it in, just because it just wouldn't look right. It just be the same exact thing, but just pointless to do so. As you see, I can just put it right there, and it'll look pretty cool. So basically, it's just you know how creative you can get while modeling stuff and putting it inside. But uh, main things you need to know how to do is just how to model a capsule to make it look like a probe like this, and then how to make gears and stuff, and then all the other things you can use like that one tutorial. Like I showed you how to do the spline stuff. You know what I mean? You can just, you know, you know, use all my tutorials in one, and then, you know, make something. I don't know. Uh, just, you know, I don't know how to, you know, I don't know! Just be creative, Jesus! I'm, like, trying to, like, help you guys, or try and, like, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm just gonna end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this awesome little, uh, sick tutorial that you guys asked for. If I didn't, like, fully tell you what you need to know, just tell me in my comments. I'll sh be sure to, like, PM you how to do something if I miss something or whatever and uh... or comments I'm sure people will know how to do it in comments so uh, yeah if you guys enjoyed I understand that you guys are able to reach 20 likes without me asking so let's do that and uh... comment down below like the video like I said favorite it do whatever you want I'll see you guys later so switch you out peace